Mario versus Donkey Kong. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Mario vs. Donkey Kong. We are in the Plus World, and we're starting Plus World 3, Fire Mountain Plus. Let's get right into it. I'm Derez Plays. We're going to start off with... I think this is one of the harder stages. Now, the first levels of Fire Mountain, I think we're outside. And this time we are definitely inside. Now, I think. Wanna turn on blue before we go anywhere. So, blue. Then we move them over. Then red. Then we activate yellow. Blue. Red. Ah. Uh, blue. Red. Now we don't really need the one up. And there we go. We got ourselves all of the presents. And now we can truly get into Fire Mountain Plus. Oh yeah. This one is definitely a what does mini Mario do next kind of puzzle. And those ones are pretty fun because it means you have to really think about what you're doing. Now, let's go into one with a firebird. These are always the worst. Here we go. Okay. So we want to grab our mini Mario. Grab our mini Mario. And oh boy. Okay. Come on, Mini Mario. I got close. Which means I know what it is we're gonna do. Just like this. I game. I don't think I was close to the door when you triggered that. Thank you, though. So this is where this gets into trouble. This is our first standard clear. So clear gives us a clear star, obviously for clear. But we need perfect because that's the kind of series we're doing. Here we go. Which means doing this again until we get it cleared. And we do know how to. Yep. 
Just like this. So I just, I needed to get far away enough from Mini Mario so that he wouldn't trigger the door with me, which is not what I needed. And that's how you get clear or perfect on this stage. So, now that that's taken care of, We have another one. Here we go. Okay. Ooh boy. The good news is we're gonna get a lot of one-ups in this process. Up. Okay. Oop. Welcome to the world of death. Oh, this time I fell. Oh, gosh. Okay. Go. It's all about timing, that is for sure. Also, Mini Mario reacting to when he has to go. Like, he should have definitely have moved faster than that. The Potobo was definitely far more down. Nope. Okay. Up. There we go. Okay. And up. Go. And go. And here we go. This is also not the hardest stage that I was hinting at in the last episode, but my gosh, so many attempts. Not even funny. Fortunately, it is all done on one screen, so we don't have to worry about, ugh, so many deaths on, mul on two different areas. How am I gonna get back to the second area? So yeah. Okay. So I see that I need to drop Mini Mario here. Okay. Okay. So let's swap. Swap. 
and then he comes back up. Okay. I see how I kind of rushed this one. And then... I want to be below the spring so Mini Mario knows drop down. And then we just walk all the way back and through the door. Ba -ba 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 -ba! And that is another perfect in 3-4. We are getting harder stages, as we've seen, because we're already on 11 minutes. Last world, we were at seven minutes by the time we got to this stage. Now. Up. Up. Oh boy. I got very nervous. I got so nervous I got quiet. I'm so sorry that I keep doing that when I get nervous. Um, this stage, with the writing lava stage, and it required us to keep Mini Mario on the move so that we could keep him from getting burnt alive. And if I had done better, we would have been um, able to complete the stage with the lava still much lower than when it finished. We have ourselves another stage. Let's start by getting ourselves I think I can get that other one up still. Yeah. And there we go. Another perfect 81 lives. We're definitely gonna be good for lives. I'm pretty sure. It also helps that in this version and not my main playthrough, I stopped doing bonus stages. In my personal playthrough, I stopped doing them because I'm like, eh, they probably appear in every world. They do not. If you do not complete the bonus stage of the world, Ooh. Okay. Wah. Ooh. Okay. Throw you down there. Go. Ugh. You can see where this is going. Oh, shoot to the side. Huh. Okay, up. Up. Down. Okay. 
Okay. So I think... I want to do this. Then we swap. Go. Go. Okay. We want to walk Mini Mario over. Okay, this stage was actually more stressful than the fire stage because of the bird. Oh, we managed. Barely. We still have the DK stage to complete, though. Woohoo! So, what we're gonna do is we're going to get the DK stage going. Now, this stage is obviously going to be harder because we actually have objects dropping down. One. Okay, that's actually my first death. Two. And we are going for perfect, so that doesn't count. I actually didn't know I could take damage. That was a terrible setup. Oh, goodness. Wow. You know, in my personal playthrough, did not have this level of trouble. You know what? We're gonna just reset. Are you kidding me? That is rude. I definitely hit him. As you can tell, I'm getting so annoyed by this. You can tell I'm getting so annoyed by this because I'm getting blah. That falls. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now I'm just getting bad. I Oh my gosh guys Oh boy Up. 
too. Here we go. Four. Oh my goodness. Oh. The bitterness. It's leaving my body. Hello and goodbye. Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's episode of Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I'm going to be taking a break because my goodness. I, DK, you're annoying. You're an annoying monkey. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a comment in the comment section below, mash the like button, and subscribe if you have not for more Mario vs. Donkey Kong content. Next time, we'll be going to Merry Miniland Plus. We'll see you all then. Derez plays out. Mario Burke, Donkey Kong.